Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to subscribe and share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. The, that's the only way you can help me uh, promote my channel and to keep me going, refreshed and inspired. And I'm very, I'm very willing to share my knowledge, especially topics in civil engineering for your benefit. Calculate the normal stresses at points A and B of the bracket caused by the 30 kN force. So this is the given figure. So first, let's resolve the 30 kN force into horizontal and vertical components as shown. So 30 times 4 over 5, this is 5, is 30 times 0 0.8, 24 kilonewtons rightward. And the vertical component is 30 times 3 over 5, or 30 times 0 0.6, so 18 kilonewtons downward. So the net moment is clockwise if 18 times 0 0.54 minus 24 times 0 0.18 is is positive so the effect would be clockwise and this section will be subjected to tensile force section AB 24 and this clockwise moment M so this is the general formula plus minus P over A plus minus MC over I where moment is 18 times 0 0.54 minus 24 times 0 0.18 so moment is 5.4 kilonewton meter. So therefore, at A, it is subjected to axial tensile force and also tensile bending moment, bending stress because of this direction. So it will be uh, concave downward. So this is plus P over A, then at A plus 6M over B8 square. So plus min minus P over A plus minus 6M over B8 square. So at A, it is positive 24,000 newtons over 60 by 180. That's megapascals. Then plus 6 times moment, 5.4 kilonewton meter times 1,000 square to make it newton mm divided by 60 mm h180 mm square so that the unit would units would be in megapascals so from here we can now compute the stress at a equal to 2.222 this is 2.222 then for the bending stress it is 16.667 combining sigma a is equal to 18.89 megapascals tension for the bottom fibers B, positive B over A, then negative 6M over B8 squared. So sigma B is 2.222 minus 16.667. So the sign would be definitely negative. So it is in compression. So sigma B is 14.44 megapascals compression. So that's it. The circular tube with the cross section shown is subjected to the axial force P and bending moment M, both directed as shown. Using the readings from the strain gauges at A and B, the corresponding stresses at these locations are calculated to be uh, sigma A 19.3 megapascals and sigma B negative 101.4 megapascals. So compute P and M. So from the figure, the cross-sectional area of the circular tube is subjected to axial tension if the sign is correct and concave upward bending, so meaning to say the top fibers will be in compression due to moment and the bottom fibers will be in further in tension. So, therefore, from stress equals plus minus P over A plus minus MC over I, for A, 
it is positive here and for this part it is also positive then for b p over a is positive then mc over i would be negative the top fibers b will be in compression so moment of inertia is pi over 4 outer radius 25 to the fourth minus inner radius half of 44.5 so 22.25 to the fourth moment of inertia is 114,305 mm to the fourth. The area is pi quantity 25 square minus 22.25 square. The cross sectional area is equal to 408.2 mm square. So substitute, uh, let's assign 19.3. So sigma A is P over A, then plus MR over MRO over I. C, C is RO, of course, at the bottom and at the top by symmetry. So 19.3 is P, assuming P is in kilonewtons, so we multiply 1000 to convert it to newtons. Over area, 408.2, then moment, assuming moment is in kilonewton meter, so we multiply 1000 square to convert that to newton mm. RO is 25, half of 50, divided by moment of inertia, 11.4305. So simplifying, 2.450p plus 218.71m equals 19.3, call that equation 1. Then at section B, uh, P over A positive, then this is minus. So sigma B equals P over A, then minus MRO over I. Since the value, the section is symmetric, these values will be the same. So 2.45P minus this part is negative 218.71 equals sigma B, which is negative 101.4. Then adding equation 1 to eliminate the second term. Then we'll have 4.9 P equals negative 82.1. So P is negative. Negative 16.76. Substitute kilonewton. Substitute in equation 1. 2.45 times negative 16.76 plus 218.71 M equals 19.3. So M in kilonewton meter is 0.276 kilonewton meter. So that's it for this problem.